In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We are studying the liturgy, the Coptic liturgy, uh, from the origin of the liturgy and what we do, what we receive, what we offer, and what we remember. We will start by reading passages from the Bible. The book of Revelation, chapter 4 and 5, is our beginning. So would Jocelyn please read for us the beginning, the first part of chapter 4. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one set on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and stardius stone in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads, and from the throne proceeding lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Joya, will you continue to the end of the chapter? Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in front and in the back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf, the third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each had six wings, were full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him, who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever. The twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist, and we were created. Very good. I want us to uh, look at this chapter, and you, uh, you want to give me a summary? of what St. John saw in chapter 4. Who can give me uh, the beginning of that summary? Okay. Can I ask Charles, start with, uh, what did St. John see? Can you give him the microphone, please? What did he see in, in, in heaven? How did it start? He saw people like 24 elders. What is the heaven. first thing he saw in heaven? First of all, he saw a door open, right? And a voice is telling him, Come up here. And then what, when he came up, what did he see? First thing he saw was, anybody? Yes, Joya? Can you give that microphone? Yes? He saw the one that was sitting in the throne. First he saw the throne, and then he saw something on the throne or somebody, right? What else he saw around the throne? Okay, Samer. Can I give him the microphone, please? What did he see around the throne? He saw four living creatures. Four living creatures. Can you describe them to us? They were full of eyes back and front. And um, it, the first one was a face of a man. And the second one was a face of a lion. And the th uh, third one was a face of a calf. And the, third, um, the fourth one was a, fa um, was a face of a flying eagle. Excellent. So he saw four living creatures. How many wings did they have? Six wings. Six wings each, and they're full of eyes. Means they're all seeing. They're all seeing. What else he saw? Anybody else? Joy? He saw a sea of glass. A sea of glass. And what else around the throne he saw? Yes, Thomas? He saw lightning, thunder, and voices coming out of the throne. Of the throne. So thundering, lightning, and voices coming out of the throne. What else he saw around the throne? There were four living creatures. Kevin? He, he saw the, the, the 24 
Presbyteries. Great. So 24 Presbyteries. Can you describe them to me? They were wearing white and they were on a throne. They were wearing white and sitting on thrones. What is on their heads? Crowns. Crowns. There are 24 kings and they look old. They have beards and they have crowns and they were sitting on thrones, right? <laughs> Now, can we say what happened after that? Anybody can tell me what happened? What did the four living creatures say? What did they say? Samuel, give him the microphone, please. Um, they said, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, was who was and is and is to come. That's the praise of the cherubim. These four living creatures, we call them cherubim. And cherubim means the carriers of the throne. And their song is, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord Almighty, who was, who is, and is to come. What happened when they sang this way? What, what did happen after that? When they start singing, Holy, Holy, Holy. Thomas, give him the microphone, please. Um, the four... When the four living creatures, the cherubim, said, Holy, holy, holy. The 24 presbyteries fall down and say what... Um, what did they say? So the 24 elders, the presbyteries, fell down on their faces and said... You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. So they give a praise, another praise called worthy. Worthy, O Lord, that you take all the praise because you created all things and by your power they exist. Now, let me ask you about this chapter. Can anybody tell me, where do we hear holy, holy, holy? Where do we hear worthy? Where do we see white robes? Anyone? Can Ilaria tell me? In, litur in liturgy. Thank you. In liturgy. So this is where actually a liturgy is being celebrated in heaven. It's a liturgy celebrated in heaven. So that's why we see a throne. Where, where do you see a throne and the four living creatures carrying it? Show ya. Where do you see the throne and the four living creatures carrying it? We see the throne in the bosom of the Father in the altar. Great. In the altar, we have an icon where there is a throne, and Jesus sits on the throne, and four living creature, creatures around him, the cherubim, one with the face of a man, one with the face of a lion, one with the face of a calf, and one with the face of an eagle. And, and, and there, we see a priest with a head cover, looks like a crown, who wears white, and they say... The priest says, holy, holy, holy. He says, agios. So actually, this is the liturgy that has been celebrated in heaven. Okay? There's a lot there that we can take from. What, why does the cherubim sing holy, holy, holy? What is the reason? What makes them so excited? And they never stop. Can anybody not stop at all? Joy? And she has the microphone, please. Yes. Because God looks so great and they can't resist not to say it. They cannot resist not singing because what are they doing? What's so special about them? There's something special about them, the cherubim, those the four living creatures. Can, um, okay, can Jenny tell us what's so special about the cherubim that makes them unable to, to resist? It's because they are full of eyes. Because so they are full of eyes. They're the most seeing of all things. Let's say you stand in front of a beautiful scene, sunset, sunrise. You are on the top of a mountain. You're looking over the ocean. You see beautiful flowers. What do you usually say when you see something like this? What happens without you noticing doing it? OK, uh, Jocelyn? 
Um, we say? We say wow. Wow. True. Say wow. When you say wow, can you help it not say wow? No, because you're watching something so beautiful. So when the cherubim with their all eyes looking at the throne of God and seeing the thundering and the lightning and the voices, they see the care that God sends to everybody in the creation. And they couldn't stop singing holy, holy, holy. This is their wow. When they sing because they are magnificent creatures, what happens? The whole heaven is shake, shook. Isaiah saw that. When the seraphim, the other creatures that sing the same song, they start singing, the whole temple start to shake, and Isaiah felt so impacted. So when the cherubim sing, the 24 presbyters cannot take the song. It's so beautiful. It will make someone laugh and cry and jump from joy at the same time. Their singing is so beautiful because of what they see. And when that happens, the 24 presbyters do what? They cannot stand. They would fall down on their faces and sing a new song saying, Worthy, O Lord, to take the praise and the honor and the glory, because you created all things, and by your power they exist. This is the liturgy in heaven. It is not something people, heavenly creatures, do by force. They do it because they are so enjoying the presence of God and his grace. Uh, we'll continue next time. Glory be to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen.